Here's a quick video showing how I've uh, created a track IR using um, FreeTrack software available on the internet and uh, a couple of uh, IR LEDs I got at Radio Shack and uh, a little bit of soldering. You'll notice the uh, headset is just uh, basically a broken piece of coat hanger and some electrical tape uh, to hold the wires and LEDs in the correct spots. Uh, there's a template on the web page that you can make to make sure your uh, LEDs are in the right spots. And then with a little bit of calib calibration uh, and possibly some fixes on the, uh, the free software, uh, you get everything going. And uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy to use once you've got everything uh, up and running. What I'm doing here is setting the center in the software um, FreeTrack 2.2. And um, once I've set my center point, then I'm just testing to make sure that, uh, you know, it's r reaching all the way to the corners when I turn my head as subtly as I want to. Uh, as you can see, I've got three screens for Ifinity, which makes this uh, even more immersive. Now I'm dumping right into Arma 3 Alpha, where I've, uh, I'm actually already in a uh, helicopter and it's all spooled up. So I just uh, come right off the ground on... Uh, on my all tabbing in. You can see the screen's cut out here for a second. I'm not sure what happened. Um, this is the first time that that's happened uh, during gameplay with this uh, software running in the background. And as you can see, it didn't crash the game. Uh, initially, upon setup, it did crash the game on launching, but you just had to acknowledge that it was uh, accessing uh, free track, and that's something you wanted to let it do. Now, after some tuning uh, of the settings, uh, I've got it basically where I want to be, where it's pretty sensitive moving side to side, uh, but up and down takes quite a bit of effort to actually uh, instigate the look up and look down. Uh, as you may or may not be able to tell, I'm not exactly the greatest pilot, and I only use a keyboard. I actually am not using the mouse to... Uh, control the helicopter in any way. I've uh, just got my hand resting there, basically. Uh, this is all keyboard movements and, um, and looking uh, with, uh, with the free track IR set up. Further, uh, something uh, that's worth noting is I almost never fly in first person. I'm very accustomed to flying in uh, third person. This was maybe the second or third attempt at making a first person um, flight. And uh, as you can see, it becomes really natural and really effortless. Where I've tried this before uh, with controlling the camera view uh, with alt as I normally would in gameplay. And it's really hard for me to do uh, sitting inside the cockpit to get in sense of things but here you can see I'm able to really brush the top of the tree uh, the treetops which I have never previously been able to do